too. Yeah, but sure. Well, good morning. So recently, I got to spend some good quality time with my friends Jill and Nathan Reagan with Whispering Willow Farms. At the Homestead Festival, her talk, she talked a lot about trellising of some plants. And one plant in particular she talks about is trellising your cucumbers. So, I was like, well dang, now I have to redo my whole garden, right? Now, I did it. Boom. With the help of Jill. So I actually FaceTimed her, tried to record it, it recorded with no sound, but she was nice enough to send me a couple of clips of her greenhouse, or her uh, high tunnels, and her cucumbers, and what they look like. Here is another example. Here's my main stem of my plant. This was the blossom that produced fruit. This is my dominant leaf. The reason I FaceTimed her and had her help me is because this big plant right here was already established pretty well on my other trellising system. So like literally follow it from the ground. So I can see it, it's the one that's going to the right. That looks like that's your main dominant stem. Right. This one? So you see, yep. Okay. And then keep going up so I know that you're Yep. So, the way we have these set up, just like our tomatoes, we have a string and we tie it to the string and truss it up and we prune it very similar to how you prune your tomatoes. All right, so here I have the main dominant stem of my plant. There's going to be a few things I told you it's going to put off off of this main. We have got the fruit. We've got the tendril, we have the dominant leaf, and then right here is the sucker. And you can see it's in between that V. And that's what I had to do down here. Here's the main stem. Had to prune all this up because it's close to the ground. Prune this right here, you can see in this armpit. It was very established, but in this armpit, I had to prune off this and then keep the main stem. Now I was really worried about doing this with, with the plant with how established it already was. And the reason is because I didn't want to kill it. You know, I started four cucumber seeds and only two germinated and two lived. And so I didn't I didn't want to lose them. You know, I could easily start some more and I probably will. Um, just to kind of succession plant these. And uh, but I wanted good healthy plants and this system seems to work well for having healthy plants because you keep them keep good airflow, keep them off the ground, less pest it seems, less you know mildew and things like that. So I was talking to her and I was like hey is this going to kill my plants? She said no, it's going to make it healthier. You know at first it's going to be a little bit of a shock to it. and because you're, you know, it's already established pretty well, but it's actually been doing doing quite well. Um, I also was like, you know, with how short it is, because hers are like tall. So with how short it is, I was like, what, what am I gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to add layers. She said, no, it actually grow up and down. And said some, I can't remember the words she called it, but it's a different kind of, like, same trellising system, but it has a name to it where it doesn't just go straight up and kind of zigzags throughout the thing. But Second thing I was worried about was, I, because of how established that one was, I was like, I don't know where the main stem is on this thing. So she, I turned the phone around, showed her, and she it was like, all right, use your finger, here's your finger, do this, you know. So she helped me figure out what the main stem was. That way I wasn't like trimming off the main stem and then lose my plant altogether. But it was really cool that she was, she was, she helped me, and it was, it's nice to be able to get like 
questions answered that like I feel like a lot of people might actually have and makes it hard to put a comment on like her videos and have her answer them through like a uh, through responding so it was cool to have her kind of answer some questions that I felt like maybe a lot of y'all have and definitely myself so um, we got them answered we got our, our trusting system going and uh, very grateful for the help and I hope this helps you to also try the same system I look forward to doing it next year starting them from the very beginning like this so we can have good established plants um, and maybe do some taller ones get some taller pipes another thing she talks about too is when you do like even with like tomatoes like when you have the pipes like this my the, the wire works well but the tighter I pull the, the strings towards the middle it dips down and I had to tighten these up so she talks about getting some pipe put in here and then running some conduit across that way to be nice and tight so there's still some still some tweaking that we gotta do but we got we're gonna do it this way for now and then next year we'll progress and that's what it's all about just progression progress not perfection that's what it's all about so appreciate you hanging out with us and uh, we'll catch you in the next one